Hi everyone, my name is Joseph Koenskin. Welcome back to my studio. What I'm working on today is a painting of a Pacific Wren on some mossy branches and I finished the background and so all I have to do today is work on the Pacific Wren. So I want to show you that today and it's going to be a time lapse because it'll probably take me about two hours to do. So I'm just going to dive right in and start describing what I do and a little bit of the techniques and sort of the process that I go about to paint this little bird. All right, so now that I've started painting, I'm just gonna do what I usually do when I start painting most of my birds and any other animal, um, is that I'm going to block in uh, just some of the basic colors and I usually keep it around that mid-range tone um, and that's gonna be really important uh, for this particular bird in this particular setting just because of the way the light is. But I start by putting in that mid-range tone and blocking in those colors and just trying to get an overall shape um, and correct color for this particular bird. And then once I've got that shape in there, I can start working on um, where some of the shadows are gonna be and the overall three-dimensional shape of the bird, sort of following the contours of all the feathers and, and the shape of the bird. And what you're gonna notice that's maybe a bit different than some of the other birds I've painted is that I'm gonna jump around quite a bit. Um, mostly because I, I want the bird to have a really, really soft light look. Uh, the lighting conditions in this particular scene are, are really, really soft where you have like an overcast day and just a tiny bit of light trickling down from the canopy onto the forest floor. And so I wanna make sure that that light is really, really soft and that I don't get too carried away with with dark shadows and with really bright highlights. And so I'm just gonna jump around, you know, different parts of the bird and kind of just building up that overall feel and refining that shape more and more as I go along. And so once I've got that shape mostly figured out, then I can start adding these darker uh, colors and some of the shadow colors and, and start really establishing that shape and really following the contour of the bird's belly and the wings and just building that color up and building that shape um, and and sort of going from there and the reason I want to do it so um, mildly and gently is is as I said before is to keep those shadows and highlights in check I don't want it to look like a bright sunny day I want it to look very soft and very very slight in both shadow and highlight So now I'm just refining some of those contours and refining some of the spots where the highlights are going to be and sort of working back and forth between highlight and shadow and refining that, that shape and, and trying to keep that shadow that's just under the bird's beak on that kind of falls on its breast that's really, really, really slight. And then here I'm just kind of really refining those highlight colors and following the contour of the bird's belly just to make sure that I really know where where everything is going to be once I can start adding um, some of the final shadows and final highlights and so now I can start going in and adding some of the darker shadows now that I'm confident that the shape of the bird looks really good and that the the shadows are are where I like them to be and so I'll go in and start really refining some of those darker parts and filling in some of those the the feather structure on the wings and where some of those stripes are that are on the the wing feathers and just going back and working on the crown and just a little around the eye It's really important to establish that shape early on because it makes this part a lot easier to add the details in once I know the shape of the bird and it's really got that three-dimensional feel. It makes this part a lot easier. I'm just following all that work I did before and all that time I spent building up that shape and building up the contour and the shape of, of, of each feather and where uh, everything is. It just makes this part where I'm adding shadows and highlights that much easier once I'm confident that the shape of the bird uh, looks exactly the way I want it to. So now I'll just add the highlight on the beak 
and some of the brighter highlights just around the top of the bird and just on the side. And really filling in all those highlights and adding these little white spots onto the wing. It just kind of makes the whole thing pop. And I'm going to add some some lighter highlights on the side of the bird because I want it to have like a little bit of a glow, almost like it's just slightly backlit. And then once a lot of those highlights are done, I can go in and just add some deeper shadows where I feel like they need it to be. Darkening the eye, just darkening a few of those stripes, just really putting that final touch on deepening some of those shadows. And then when I paint the feet, I'm going to keep it really, really loose. I don't want to get super detailed with the feet because I want the bird to match the level of detail that's in the painting. I've kept this painting fairly loose and not super detailed and so I want to maintain that level of detail with the bird so I don't want it to be so refined that it doesn't match the painting. Now I'll just add a few final highlights and keep refining things. I think I'm close to being done here and I'm just going over and just making a few corrections. I'm going to clean up sort of the edges of the feet there with some green and just add to the moss and I'm going to take that green and I'm going to add it to the underside of the bird as reflected light which really helps set the bird into the scene. Now it's just a matter of cleaning up some of these finer details and I think I have a finished painting. As it is with so many of my paintings, when I finally finish the bird and complete the entire thing, it seems to bring the entire painting to life. I've just really loved doing this piece. It, it just came out so nice and the greens were really rich and vibrant and I enjoyed painting this moss. This is something uh, that I haven't done in quite a long time, this kind of subject with the moss and with the bird and I've really, really enjoyed uh, working on this painting for the last couple weeks. And if you have any questions about what I've done today or if you, you wanna know a little bit more about some of the process that I, that I use to um, paint this bird and, and to paint some of the things that are in this painting, just leave them in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you so much for watching.